Ukrainian forces destroyed a bridge over the Syme River in the Glushkovsky district in Russia's Kursk Oblast. Photos and videos purporting to show the destroyed bridge were published by the Russian Telegram channels, which claimed the bridge had been struck multiple times. The footage was taken by Russians walking on the bridge. The strike was carried out by a HIMARS missile. According to the Russians, the bridge was hit four times before, and this is the fifth. As a result of the impact, the car on the bridge caught fire and its occupants died. About 30 settlements near the village of Glushkovo, approximately 150 kilometers from Kursk, have been cut off due to the attack. Air Force Commander Mikola Olshchuk posted later a video showing the attack on the Russian bridge. The insider reported that the Glushkovsky district has three bridges across the Syme River, with the other two located near the settlements of Zvano and Kuriz. Roman Aliokin, an advisor to Kursk Oblast's acting governor and a Russian pro-war blogger, also claimed that Ukrainian forces are targeting the bridge in Zvano, about 7 kilometers from Glushkovo, in an attempt to seize part of Kursk Oblast along the river. The Ukrainian armed forces have destroyed a bridge over the Syme River in the Glushkovsky district of Russia's Kursk region, Telegram channels reported on Friday. Part of the Glushkovsky district that includes Tyatkino, Popovo Lazachi, Volfino, and about 27 other settlements, is now cut off following the attack. According to reports, one of the bridge spans has been destroyed after a strike from Himars, High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, provided to Ukraine as part of military aid to Ukraine. Ukrainian troops are reportedly planning to seize the Glushkovsky district of the Kursk region. The evacuation of civilians is possible only by water. Roman Alakin, advisor to the acting governor of the Kursk region, has confirmed reports about the destruction of the bridge. It should be noted that in the Glushkovsky district of the region, logistic supplies for Russian troops are transported through the only road passing through this bridge. The destruction of the bridge is believed to significantly worsen the logistics of Russian troops in this area. According to local residents, Ukrainian troops have also attacked a bridge in the village of Zvanoy. Meanwhile, according to some reports, 700 Russian soldiers have been encircled in the area. The breach of the border in the Kursk region is the merit of the armed forces of Ukraine and at the same time, the failure of the general of the Russian army, Alexander Lapin. The Moscow Times reported this with reference to Z-War correspondence. The publication pointed out the similarity of the failure on August the 6th, 2024, with the one that led to the loss of Lyman in 2022, when the Ukrainian armed forces managed to recapture 3,000 square kilometers of previously occupied territories. Now the Ukrainian army has managed to capture about 1,000 square kilometers of territory in the Kursk region. Volodymyr Zelensky said that 74 settlements were under the control of the Ukrainian armed forces. The reason for the breakthrough was the weak line of defense and the numerical superiority of the Ukrainian armed forces. The article indicated that in 2022, hundreds of enemy vehicles became trophies of the Ukrainian army in the Kharkiv region and military facilities in the Belgorod region were in the sights of the Ukrainian armed forces. After a series of defeats on the Balaklaya Liman Izium line, Lapin lost his post as commander of the Central Military District. After the defeat in the Kharkiv region, Alexander Lapin began to command the defense of the Kursk region and this shows that the Russian Ministry of Defense is based not only on the ideas of atrocities and occupation but also on nepotism and corruption. Let us recall that in October 2022, it was reported that Putin promised Lapin the post of Chief of the General Staff of the Russian Army in case of success on the front in Ukraine. Lapin managed to convince that he was not guilty of the loss of Lehman, and that Ramzan Kadyrov's criticism of him was allegedly groundless. In that time, the head of Chechnya, Ramzan Kadyrov, demanded that Colonel General Alexander Lapin be demoted to the rank of private because of whom the invaders allegedly had to flee from the Ukrainian armed forces from Lehman. Meanwhile, the military commander was sitting hundreds of kilometers from the front line in Lugansk. Alexander Lapin responded to his opponent through blogger 
Tumzo that he took an example from Kadyrov, who sits out thousands of kilometers from his units on a luxurious sofa. Sitting on this sofa, he has already taken Kiev more than once and was even preparing to attack Poland. 